Hello fam, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing amazing because I'm doing amazing as well. Like, I'm buzzing. I'm joking, I'm bored. Like, I want to go out, man. in lockdown for so long I mean, we've been in lockdown for so long it's like it's just me it's all of us i just want to go out and live life normally do you know what i mean but anyways the video today is all about um getting back into the gym right so maybe you've taken some time off the gym due to injury it could be because of the lockdown or it could be because you just want to have some time off and now you're thinking about getting back into the gym now because you've taken time off of the gym there's gonna be some some things that you have to keep in mind you know when getting back because you're not the same you're the same person but your your fitness level is probably most likely not the same as you left the gym so these are a few things that you have to keep in mind the first thing that you have to think about is making a plan like you have to have a plan it doesn't have to be anything like technical or complicated it's just something simple like um, you know having your your workout planned out for the day or for that session um having a list of the equipment like the machines you'll be going to and all of that like i don't really think there's any need for adding what kind of weight you'll be lifting and all of that but if you want to really dive into it then you can add like the number of sets the number of reps the rest times and all of that yada yada <laughs> but anyways yeah like have a plan having a plan is amazing man it will save you time just imagine like doing an exercise and then you're in your last set set three and now you you're thinking about what to do next like you have no idea what to do next you're looking around if the same machine is free or not like that is wasting time you need to be in the zone you need to be focused and i feel like having a plan will help you stay focused and will make your whole like reaching your goal a lot easier and quicker do you know what i mean because you have a plan so you know where you're going like you're on the path to the goal you get me relax and have a plan and the second thing you need to keep in mind is to take it easy and not to be too hard on yourself like you've taken time out of the gym your fitness level most likely has gone down i mean unless you, like especially the lockdown we've been at home for months do you know what i mean like being at home for months you do lose some strength you do lose some stamina and you do lose some muscle so unless you've been lifting the same amount of weights that you were like doing the time in the gym then you are most likely you most likely have lost something so you need to take it easy and don't be too hard on yourself now going back to the gym can be exciting and you want to go back to your old pbs and all of that and like show everyone you are the boss you are the beast but no that's just a bit silly you're, big, you're just gonna get injured take it easy i would suggest like cutting your weights down to about 50 percent of your previous weights that you used to do and just try that out for like the first week and the next week you can bump it up a little bit like there's no rush you, you got all the time the gains will come back like if you've been training for a while you will probably get back to your level your, that you used to be in, in, in a month or a couple of months like you'll be back to it if you're consistent so there's no need to rush and go on the big weights and start hitting PB's like on the first day back in the gym you wanna hit a deadlift PB that's probably that's just you um, opening up yourself to injuries like silly injuries so take it easy don't rush don't rush, like don't rush. take it easy and build your strength and your stamina back up slowly always keep form in mind like good form is so essential like i i can always i can use myself as an example um you know like when we had the lockdown in march i remember when we we, we got back into the gyms around july august um obviously when i went back to the gym i didn't cut down to 50 percent. i went straight to about 80 percent of my previous um ways that i was lifting because i was so excited and you know what i mean i was so pumped up to lift that eventually i did get an injury I've, i'm still struggling with the injury i've got a lower back 
injury and it's been like four months now and i'm still healing and this injury has like really been a deficit in my whole gym life like i haven't been able to deadlift properly i haven't been able to squat properly uh, it's affected my whole training plan because even when i want to do some dumbbell presses or some shoulder presses like picking up the dumbbells from the floor that has some strain on your back right so it's really that like, impacted my whole workout that's how much injuries can really mess you up so like trust me you want to avoid injuries if i could avoid it, if i could go back in time i i would be so much careful and by now like i'll be i'll be 100 do you know what i mean so always keep your form in mind practice good form and take it easy on yourself and eventually you'll be where you were and even better do you know what i mean so take it easy the third thing you want the third thing you want to be doing is to stretch like if you if let's say you haven't been stretching during the lockdown or during your time off the gym like you should be stretching stretching will help especially before a workout and even after a workout it'll help get some blood flowing into the muscles um get yourself ready and prepared you know for the exercise warm up do some stretches and just get yourself ready because you can't just go into um lifting straight away with, with no warm-up like that is just a recipe for for injuries so do your stretches before and after workouts and the fourth thing that you want to be keeping in mind is to focus on your nutrition nutrition like they say it has to be like a 50 percent of the whole plan 50 percent in the gym 50 percent at home in the kitchen so your nutrition has to be tailored towards your goals if you're trying to lose weight maybe you've gained some weight while you were at home off the gym and now you want to lose weight your nutrition should be tailored to your goal which is to lose weight so you need to be in a caloric deficit but you need to be having your proteins you need to be having your your carbs and a bit of your fats and if you're trying to gain weight or whatever build some muscle you need to be in a surplus so do you know what i mean just nutrition is so much important trust me it will change a lot like it will, it will it will have such a big impact on your whole physique everything your workouts your training you'll be surprised what nutrition can do man and the last thing that you want to keep in mind is to focus on your health your health is important right if you have bad health well, what, you can't even train in the first place you can't even get back to the gym in the first place so your health has to always always be the number one priority like do you know what I mean? Whatever you do, whatever weight you lift, whatever technique you do, safety first, like always safety first. Whatever you have to do to make sure that you're safe has to be a priority. So focus on your health. If you lift and something doesn't feel right, maybe you're feeling pain somewhere, you should probably just put the weight down and back off and do something else and come back to it later. You know because i mean you've just come back your muscles are now getting back into routine you might feel a bit of discomfort in some places so just take time off um that exercise and come back to it later if it's something serious then obviously you go see a professional so yeah that's uh all of it for the video i hope this was really helpful to you guys obviously these are tips that i am going to incorporate into my training now that gyms are going to be open soon um so i hope they were helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down any videos that you want me to uh do down below also please follow me on social on my other social medias as well instagram uh it's money fitness 18 follow me and yeah let's keep the family strong obviously you have to subscribe to be a part of the family in it but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.